Hi Carpentry Addicts, welcome again to your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. I am Domingo Freire and today I will show you how to make this wooden tray. To make this project I will use the Pink Work Pro tools, especially the stapler and nail gun and the 12 volt screwdriver. In the description of this video I leave you the link to workprotools.store so you can get to know the Pink Work Pro tools. By buying these tools, you help WorkPro to make donations for the fight against breast cancer. The first thing we are going to do is measure and mark the pieces to make our tray. To cut the pieces you can use a jigsaw. To attach the strips of wood, I'm going to use one and a quarter inch long screws. To hide the screws, first I'm going to use my drill with an 8 mm diameter bit. With this drill I'm going to make a hole that I will later cover with some covers that I will make with wooden cylinders 8mm in diameter. We will make a rectangle with the wooden strips and we will join them using glue and the one and a quarter inch screws. I recommend you hold the structure using clamps at 90 degrees. Before placing the screws, I recommend pre-drilling the pieces with a bit thinner than the screw. This way we will avoid breaking the pieces of wood. To place the handles I will make some holes with a bit thicker than the screw that will hold the handles. To tighten the handles I prefer to use manual screwdriver so as not to apply too much pressure when tightening the screws. To attach the bottom piece to the wood structure, I'm going to use glue and I'm going to place some nails using the WorkPro stapler and nail gun. The WorkPro stapler and nail gun, which comes with several types of staples and also the nails that we are going to use in this project. This stapler and nail gun is very easy to use. The first thing you should do is release the trigger lever, you are going to do that by pressing there. So that is free and you can use it to shoot when it is loaded. 
How do we load it? Well, it is very easy. Here we have a latch that we are going to tighten and it will allow us to release the slot where we would place the staples or nails. Here we have a graph that tells us that the nails are going to be on one of the sides. We take the little nails, we make sure that the heads of the nails are in work. We put them in this way and close our stapler by pressing here. Once we did this, we are ready to proceed to work when we have glued the pieces. Once you put the wooden blocks, the screw heads are covered. To remove the excess of material from the bottom piece, I'm going to use my router with a ball bearing flush cut bit. Now here you can see that it's perfectly flush because the drill bit allows us to copy the shape of the wood strip and make it flush with the surface that we glued on the bottom. To achieve a nicer finish on the tray, I'm going to use my router with a round cut bearing bit on all the edges of the top. Remember to visit workprotools.store if you want to purchase any of the tools you saw in this tutorial. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you like the wooden tray we made today. Remember to click on like, share and comment this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.